When you want to browse the internet on an iPad, you need to use a browser. The iPad comes with a browser as part of its core apps called Safari. And this video is all about Safari, how to use it, and tweak it, and make the most out of your internet experience. Before you start using it, you should look at the settings for this app and, and see what you need to tweak. So into settings, and there is a Safari um, page, already. so tap that to highlight it. And these are all the settings for the Safari app. For the search engine, you can choose as your default search engine which one you'd like. Google, Yahoo or Bing. Then the left arrow to navigate back to the settings. Uh, the bookmarks bar, always show the bookmarks bar. When we look at bookmarks, in every time you save a page, you can save it either to your general collection of bookmarks or the bookmarks bar. And that's that bar that's always there on the top of your page. And we'll look at that when we get into the, uh, looking at the actual app. I always have that on. Uh, I always accept cookies, but you have a, cho a choice of to never accept them or only accept them from sites you visited. Cookies is makes your browsing experience a little easier because a cookie will track you if you go to uh, a site and you uh, select a few items like Amazon, for example. Uh, next time you go back, it knows who you are and it, it can um, retrieve the information that you that you were looking for last time. Uh, JavaScript and pop-ups. They're the settings that I use. If you want to clear out your, your Safari, if it starts to get a bit sluggish and slow, then clear the history. And the history will clear out all of your websites that you visited, all your browsing history, your search history. So you need to be clear that you want to do that. It's like starting again. Uh, it gives you a chance to back out. I am going to clear it. And you can also do the same with clear cookies and data. So there is nothing there in your browser. It is brand new, ready to start. When you want to add a or type an address into the address bar of Safari, you tap into the address bar, which brings up the keyboard. And the cross will delete, if you touch the cross deletes what, whatever's in there, you type in your address and this one is the 9msn.com.au then hit the go. Now if you make a mistake when you're typing in the address and I'm still in there, the keyboard's there, I can use the Delete key to delete the whole lot. Put it back in. That's the one there. If I make a mistake while I'm typing an address and the mistake might be halfway through, I might put an extra S in there. N.com.au To remove it, I could just tap in here and hit the cross key and backspace till I got rid of it, like this. Keep going back space till I got rid of the extra S, but there is another way. To fix up a mistake, and I'll just go and put another S back in there. Cool. Is to take your finger and hold it on the line and keep holding it down, a little bubble will come up, and you can move that bubble around. It's like a placeholder and you can place it just before or just after the character that you want to delete. This will also allow you to select and select all and paste, but you don't want to do that. You just want to delete a, a, one character. So I've placed my cursor, hit the cross, and now it's gone. I can just add the correct one in and go. How do you search on the iPad? When you tap into the search bar and to delete the previous search, the cross will delete everything in there and you can type in another search. 
So as we're working on an iPad, let's type in some iPad searches, say for troubleshooting. And the search bar will give you, so the Google will give you some suggestions on, on some of your search results. And if you like some of those, you might accept one of them by tapping it. Or if, if none of those are suitable, just tap the search. Uh, it brings up Google and then you can scroll through all the different Google suggestions for iPad troubleshooting as well as all the different pages below. And when you find one that you like, we'll just tap that one. That will bring up a page of your search results, which you can then scroll through and work your way through. Uh, if you want to tick a, uh, click a link, so how to fix my iPad is frozen. When I hold that down, instead of just tapping it, double tapping it will open it up in a new tab. Uh, when I hold it down, I've got a few options. I can copy what's there. Well, there's nothing to copy at this stage. I can add it to the reading list or open in a new tab. So let's add it to the reading list, that particular site. And it's gone straight up into the, the bookmarks up here. So when I tap bookmarks and go into my reading list, that website is there. So if you're, if you're doing some, some browsing and some searching and you're coming across a whole lot of pages, but you haven't got time to read them now, add them to your reading list and then you can go back later, access them through the bookmarks and then tap that uh, web page and it will open that up for you. Uh, if you uh, find that you want to read an article without any clutter or ads and if you look on this page there's, there's a, no, an ad there, there's video there, it's a little bit distracting. You can elect to read it by tapping the reader button. And then that article will just be able to be, to be read without any of the distractions of the video or the ads. And then when you're done, I mean, you've got the, uh, the, the uh, font to make it bigger, if it's not big enough. And then when you're done, uh, you must do that. Hit the uh, backspace button. When you're on a page, let's go back to... Uh, a new tab, so the cross over on the right will open up a new tab and let's do another search. So we might go back to the, the Channel 9 MSN site, 9 MSN News, that sounds right. So let's go back there and open that. And there are a lot of things you could do on a page like this. I mean, this is a, a portal to, to news. If you wanted a picture of of this girl. You hold it down and you can up with a whole lot of new options. I can save the image which is what I do and that image is now in the camera roll, the photos app. 